Hey everybody, it's Doug Underdahl, Long Valley Equipment. I'm here to show you the new Nikon G slash DX mount uh, for the RED camera. What this new lens mount uh, allows you to do is to use these lenses on your, on your RED camera. These are the DX series and also the G series lenses. Uh, they have no iris control on the lens. Uh, these lenses are built to be controlled by a Nikon camera that has the iris control built into the camera. So until now, you haven't been able to use G and especially DX series lenses on your RED um, because, for example, this has a zoom control and a focus control, but there's no iris. This is your iris control now. What you do is you turn it in or clockwise in toward the camera to open the iris and you're going to turn it counterclockwise to close the iris. The lens uh, goes onto the camera exactly as it would normally. Uh, you line up your, your dots and you turn it counterclockwise, like so, until you hear it click and it's on. And now I can reach over here and turn it to adjust it, uh, as I said before. So here is a, a mount on the back of the lens. You're seeing the, uh, the back side of the mount that would normally face the sensor. I just wanted to give you an idea of how it works in, on the back of the lens. On the back of Nikon lenses, there's a small tab here. And as you turn the knob in, you'll see the iris opening until it can't go any farther. There, it's at extreme. Uh, it stops. You'll feel it stop. And now you'll see it close down. So this is the mount. Uh, that you'll get from us, uh, the G DX series, and you'll install it in exactly the same way as you install the, uh, the previous Nikon mount with the eight screws and adjusting the collar. If you're wondering how to do that, um, you can do a search on YouTube you'll, uh, for RED camera lens mount and you'll see two videos on how to do that, on how to successfully install this and adjust the collar. One thing that I would add to that is you can put marks here on your collar and on your camera. Uh, for example, this is the factory original setting. I've actually scribed a small line here into the camera. This is uh, Aerie and this is my Nikon mount setting. So when I want to in the field change back and forth, I can just go by these marks. I think that can be really helpful, especially if you scribe your original position, then you know this was the factory setting uh, for your PL mount, for example. But at any rate, what I have now is the uh, is the GDX mount on. Uh, it'll come with the knob kind of in the middle position uh, when you get it from us. So what you'll do is mount your lens, turn it counterclockwise once again, you'll hear it click. Uh, then turn this knob all the way out until you feel it stop. There it stopped. You just want to make sure that you don't put your lens on or take your lens off with it in an extreme position. That is all the way out or all the way in. This is fine. So you may be wondering, how am I going to find out what f-stop my lens is set at if my lens does not come with f-stops on the lens? What I'm going to do here on the red LCD, I'm going to use the histogram and I'm going to put marks in under the histogram that indicate when I've moved the iris uh, in one-stop increments. To do that, I've put a 50 millimeter Nikon lens on that does have an iris ring. And I'm going to move it in one-stop increments and just make marks as I go along. Really looking for the first four or five stops from the uh, open position. And open is a little bit farther open. So I'll close it down one stop. I'll make my first mark. So now I've drawn five stops 
Let's uh, draw one more, although I think it's going to get very, the demarcation is very small now. There we go. That should be enough. Well, that gives me an idea of where my iris will be. Okay, so now I've put my 17 to 55 zoom. Uh, you can see the zoom function is here. And um, I'm wondering how I can tell where, where I am in the iris range of this, of this zoom that has no iris markings. So um, what I'll do is I'm going to take my knob. I'm reaching under now and I'm adjusting that knob. And you can see the iris operating and the histogram following. I'm going to turn that knob all the way in until it stops. When I go all the way in until it stops, I know I'm at the widest aperture of this lens, which is 2.8. And now I can see I'm roughly halfway between these two marks. So if I want to go from a 2.8 to a 4, there's a 4. The next one is a 5.6. And now I'm at about an 8 right there. So this can give you a good idea of where you are in the iris travel of your DX or G-series lens.